This is Brandon Lee with BetFrames.com here with your 2012 MAC football predictions. The Northern Illinois Huskies capped off an exciting run to a MAC title in 2011 with a 23-20 victory over Ohio in the championship game. This has been one of the most stable conferences in the country. While Temple surprisingly left for the Big East, the Owls were replaced by the UMass Minutemen. This conference may be stronger than ever this season, especially from the quarterback position. Here is a look at where I have all 13 teams finishing within the two divisions as well as my prediction on the 2012 MAC champion. In the East Division I have the Ohio Bobcats in the top spot. The Bobcats will be on a mission this year to redeem themselves from a 20 point blown lead in the MAC title game. Their defense was stout last year and it will be once again with eight returning starters on that side of the ball. With quarterback Tyler Tettleton running the show on the offense, the Bobcats should be explosive once again. Ohio's three conference losses last year came by a combined seven points. This team is clearly the class of the division, and they benefit from a schedule that includes only Eastern Michigan and Ball State from the West. Second, I have the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks. The Red Hawks returned 16 starters from a team that outgained opponents in MAC play by 25.8 total yards per game. They get a critical game against Ohio at home on October 27th and they avoid Western Michigan, Northern Illinois, and Toledo from the West, so the schedule sets up nicely. With some good breaks and a home victory over the Bobcats, the Red Hawks could easily be crowned the East Champs by season end. Third, I have the Bowling Green Falcons. With the most returning starters in the MAC, the Falcons could surprise everyone and win the East this season. It will be Coach Clawson's best team in his four years here, and it isn't even close. While Bowling Green only has three true MAC home games, they do draw both Akron and UMass on the road. This will be one of the most improved teams in the country, and a bull bid is inevitable with the talent the Falcons have returning. Fourth, I have the Kent State Golden Flashes. After going 4-1 and one over their final five games last season, the Golden Flashes head into 2012 with a ton of momentum. I believe Kent State will have the best defense in the entire conference this season. With just five home games all year, the Flashes are going to have to find a way to win on the road if they want to seriously contend in the East. Fifth, I have the Akron Zips. With an 0-8 record in MAC play last season, the Zips can only get better. They somehow managed to nab not only the best coaching staff in the MAC, but one of the best in the entire country. Terry Bowden comes over after a 47-17-1 record in five seasons at Auburn in the 90s. Bowden will get the most out of this team in 2012, but the Zips draw three top teams from the West, which will make it difficult to improve a ton. Sixth, I have the Buffalo Bulls. After going 5-19 and in the first two seasons under head coach Jeff Quinn, the Bulls figure to be one of the most improved teams in the conference now that he finally has his recruits in place. The Bulls get Kent State at home this year, so I could actually see them finishing as high as fourth. However, they draw three of the West's best in Western Michigan, Northern Illinois, and Toledo, Plus, they have to play Ohio on the road. A 4-4 four four MAC finish is probably the best they can do, but I'm thinking 2-6 is more likely. Last in the East, I have the UMass Minutemen. The Minutemen went just 5-6 as an FCS school last season, so there could be some major growing pains in their first year as an FBS program. They will be stronger this year behind a veteran quarterback and O-line, as well as a defense that returns 10 of its top 13 tacklers. However, the schedule has done them no favors as UMass has to play the top two teams from the West on the road. There is a very good chance the Minutemen go 0-8 in the MAC in 2012. Heading over to the West Division, in first place I have the Western Michigan Broncos. Quarterback Alex Carter returns to lead a Broncos team that is primed to win a MAC title. They have 14 starters coming back in all and have a very favorable schedule. None of their four conference road games comes against a team that had a winning record last year. Plus, Western Michigan hosts both Northern Illinois and Toledo. Second, I have the Northern Illinois Huskies. It was a magical title run last year, and the Huskies do bring back 12 starters from that team. The schedule sets up well considering Northern Illinois draws UMass, Akron, and Buffalo from the east. Three teams with a combined two conference wins last season. Their game at Western Michigan on October 27th could easily decide the West. Third, I have the Central Michigan Chippewas. I really believe that if there's one sleeper that's going to win this division, it's certainly Central Michigan. 
the Chippewas lose the fewest lettermen in the MAC and bring back the second most starters. However, road trips to Northern Illinois and Toledo will likely keep them out of the top two spots in the West. Fourth, I have the Toledo Rockets. The Rockets will take a big step back in 2012. That's because they return the fewest starters in the MAC and their 21 lettermen lost are the second most in the conference. They have two proven quarterbacks to run the show in Terrence Owens and Austin Danton, but there's questions all over the field aside from these two. Toledo also gets both Western Michigan and Northern Illinois on the road. Fifth, I have the Eastern Michigan Eagles. Coach English clearly has the Eagles headed in the right direction after a surprising 6-6 six six campaign in 2011. Their offense is loaded with nine returning starters. Eastern Michigan drew a tough schedule as they play East Powers, Ohio, and Bowling Green on the road. However, I believe the Eagles will be going to their first bowl game since 1987 by season's end. Last in the West, I have the Ball State Cardinals. With 13 returning starters from a team that went 6-6 last year, it was very tough to pick the Cardinals to finish last in the West but this division is so stacked and Ball State drew the most difficult schedule of any team in it. They get three of the best teams in the conference in Western Michigan, Northern Illinois, and Ohio at home, meaning that their winnable games will all be on the road. Now for my MAC championship game prediction. I have the Western Michigan Broncos defeating the Ohio Bobcats.